drive everybody 3,000 miles to uh, come here and see. From uh, San Francisco. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that's pretty darn close. So I yeah. came out here just to see us. Almost. Well, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Almost. I just uh, saw, you, saw your website and I grew up in uh, Lake Arrowhead in California there where uh, we had some Vintage boats, or more vintage when I was growing up, uh, Chris Craft and, mm -hmm. and uh, John Wood, and yeah. I don't remember a hacker, so I don't. His hackers started in the 30s? No, 1908, wow. actually. And uh, John L. Hacker, who started the company, is known as the father of the modern runabout. He was a real artist. His designs were copied, and um, of course they were all in the same area, in the Detroit area, as they started out. And they were there mainly because the automobile industry was growing up there. That's where the machine shops were, the engine shops, and so on. Do you want me to get pictures of you? Both of you? Well, it's sure. I was there. Uh, yeah, let's, let me have a picture. Oh, there you go. Mike has to. Let's see this. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm going to stay in into trouble taking pictures from people. Show me if you can. Oh, this is on the table. So, do any of your, like a smaller boat, do they ever, do you ever use the uh, Mercury Marine 4? No, we haven't. Um, we've been a big fan of Crusaders. Mm -hmm. uh, they're 5.3 liter. These two mm -hmm. boats have that 330 horse. And we were using the. Uh, oh, don't worry about that. Well, we we clean them up. Wait, wait I want to see Mike. Mike, this is for Mikey in the parts department. So, we're, let's see. Just just uh, try to stand. We have a little shot here. Well, why don't you just kind of kind of lean like it's yours? <laughs> It can be. Before you leave, even. <laughs> Actually, the truth is, with this model, it's a 2010, it's a first, it's hull number 001 of this model. We took this has a higher freeboard. If you were going to, if somebody's using a boat in coastal waters, I would say either we need to a custom build, if you, you're really set on a runabout, we should custom build it, put in some more uh, freeboard to it. And uh, But this boat has a deeper V, higher freeboard, more flare to it, so it's a much more comfortable boat in rougher coastal water. So this boat has a, a foot throttle, but these boats have hand throttles, I right. call them. Yeah. So what's the... Uh, uh, that's just uh, individual choice. kind of a fun thing. It's a throwback to this boat is uh, the, the Alligardo was a very famous race boat. It won three Gold Cup races, huh. and uh, that's the way. And it was, looked quite a bit like this, but that's the way they drove them. They had that foot throttle. I don't know how they did it, you know, because you're bouncing around and <laughs> they on a on a car they will sometimes put a. You know, a loop a that loop your foot your goes into. Yeah. Uh, and then they built a they built a step bottom for it, and uh, or John Hacker did, and then uh, the thing increased dramatically in speed. But the ride, it would jump, oh. you know, and uh, they called it, well, the name of the boat was Alligardo, and they called it the Leaping Lizard. So this is, this is, this is, this is a write-up on the boat. Uh, yeah, this was a write-up on the, the Sterling downstairs that was in the motor this, this is up at the And that's our factory up in Taekwondo. Yes. Our production facility. I think there's a you know the video on the uh on the website.
Gives you a little tour of how they're built.